She had a very passionate, very moving uh, talk in the in the interview in the video. Um, it really, I think, it touched a lot of people. I think a lot of people uh, started getting tears, maybe. Yes. Uh, where does that passion come from? What's what's the the deep root of that passion that she has there? Yeah. Está diciendo que el video en el que tú hablaste, que tú sonaste muy conmovida y todo, o sea, todo el auditorio realmente estuvo muy, muy movido por ese video que tú hiciste. ¿De dónde salió como esa pasión y por qué te conmovió tanto cuando Porque nosotros desde, desde hace un tiempo aproximadamente hemos trabajado en este proyecto, eh, prácticamente hemos esto, nos hemos esforzado demasiado, hemos, no hemos tenido el apoyo y así ha sido con la, la profe, hemos trabajado y trabajado en este proyecto, le hemos metido motivación, ganas eh, y pues lloré, o sea me conmoví porque hemos llegado tan lejos y o sea mi sueño en ese video era poder ganar para darle ejemplo a toda Colombia, a todas las instituciones de educativas eh, que sí se puede, que sí se puede lograr. Entonces me siento muy orgullosa por eso, porque mi compañero y yo somos el ejemplo de todo un país como tal. Entonces, por ese motivo, me siento muy orgullosa de poder realizar nuestros sueños, de que la propuesta de nuestra vivienda se va a poder realizar y vamos a poder beneficiar a toda nuestra comunidad. Okay. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be. Many viewers will understand yeah. that, but for the yeah. ones that don't, at least you have the recording of her. Yeah. Yeah. It's already easy yeah. for you to see yeah. the passion of her. She was really moved because she felt really passionate from the beginning. She put so much effort on the project, regardless of the harsh conditions they faced in Colombia, the lack of support. But they were really interested on represent the whole country, represent Colombia, and this this like uh, fueled the passion of them towards this project, and also like the willing to wide to spread the, this technology that way they were working on. I think uh, they're planning to install solar panels on the ca for the cafeteria, right? I want to know why is this important and how will it help them? Do they not have access to power or how will this prize itself, $100,000, help um, propel or improve the school? Okay, I would like to include the professor, the teacher, on, on, this, on this question. Uh, ella quiere saber por qué los paneles solares en la cafetería son importantes y por qué, digamos, cómo se utilizaría este, este, digamos, este dinero. Por qué es importante los paneles solares en la cafetería. Así, why are the solar panels important on the rooftops of the cafeteria? ¿Cómo podría ayudar a los chicos a tener esos paneles solares en la cafetería? Es que básicamente eh, el colegio no tiene para pagar servicios, ni energía, ni agua. Entonces el el, el restaurante consta de varios sistemas. Uno de esos es el de los paneles para sustentar lo que es energía en la refrigeración del restaurante, de las cocinas. Luego viene el biodigestor para la energía de las cocinas. Eh, es, es básicamente para licuadoras, eh, como le dicen aquí, las licuadoras para hacer los jugos eh, y los enfriadores para los cárnicos y las frutas. Para hacer un fácil, yo te voy traduciendo. Listo. Um, the, the teacher just explained that, first of all, this, this cafeteria doesn't have enough funds to, uh, to pay for their own energy expenses. So they decided to implement these solar powered uh, panels to provide of electricity the refrigerator, the fridge, the refrigerators, blenders, and all that food preparation equipment to provide of food to the, all the school students. So it, it's used ma mainly for refrigerators, liquidators, sí. eh, for cooling, for, uh, for uh, equipment used to uh, prepare food so for the students. For the price, they did not have these systems, or was it difficult to access them? Uh, um, without the price, do they not have a cooling system in place, or are they going to use the money for exactly what? Okay, let me. Let me yeah. check that. Um, okay, I would like to add also the other uh, fact that the teacher just said that the, the system is also coupled with a biogas bio producer 
So this uh, like a hybrid system coupling solar engineering and gas uh, to fuel these uh, these systems, and they don't have like enough funds to provide uh, to pay for the electricity bills. Uh, let me ask the question to the teacher again. I think that sounds like it is. Um, no. Les acabo de explicar que um, <laughs> que la cafetería va a usar en la cafetería, digamos que usa estos paneles solares y son biodigestores para dar la electricidad suficiente a los refrigeradores, al enfriamiento y a las licuadoras que se usan en la preparación. Eh, pero es que para entender esto, eh, quiero que les diga es que el municipio, el municipio de Villa Vieja es de gente de muy eh, escasos recursos y hay muchos desplazados del, del conflicto armado que tiene Colombia. Entonces no tenemos para pagar esos servicios, por eso se pensó en las energías renovables. Okay. This need is uh, more urgent to be addressed because this village of Villa Vieja, which is the city where is located the school, is house of uh, migrants from the com armed conflict in Colombia by the guerrillas war in Colombia. So that, that's why it's more urgent to address this, these needs because they have population coming from this armed conflict and uh, also they are mostly low income uh, persons. They are really in need, so that's why they saw this necessity 